Hello guys, Busy Trick here, back again with another Pokemon card video. So, I wasn't meant to uh, record this video, but apparently I went to a um, anime ass um, mixed with Marvel Superheroes Convention Center. There's like a mix with everything in there. I saw the uh, lady from Power Ranger Neo, uh, the Yellow Ranger, she was there, but you know, I wasn't meant to uh, record this video, but apparently there were uh, two booths in there that sells Pokemon cards. I'm going to uh, show the video right now. But yeah, so on the uh, second booth, apparently, uh, on the first booth, he sells some Pokemon cards, but they're kind of like overpriced. So I kind of like didn't buy anything off that first booth. And then on this second booth, um, apparently, he he was uh, selling this Pokemon binder, yeah, binder with filled with uh, Pokemon cards. But his uh, main stuffs was like uh, vintage Pokemon game, um, po vintage video games and all that. But I peak, I was like a little bit late because. One of the two, the two full page of that binder was basically filled with um, first edition base set. They're non hollows though, and they're only like three dollars. And the uh, the kid, literally the the kid in front of me literally like wiped out the first two pages and then gave it to me as the uh, second person on the line. There was like a long line for that binder, literally. And I, I, I was one of the lucky person because I got there really early, like around 1 p.m. Oh my bad. Some good stuff, so I think pockets are the ones that I grab. These ones are filled with the first edition all of them earlier. So. I ended up like buying 
I hate spending many uh, too much I've been spending too much um any of these Pokemon cards but yeah they're most of them are uh, vintage some are uh, Japanese there's a price for all these cards let me know on the comment down below let me know if um, did I win or did I basically lose lo lost money off buying these cards um, yeah if you're like if you like this video don't forget to uh, leave a like comment down below and subscribe so yeah oh by the way I forgot I bought another one this ate a lot of my money though as you guys can see on my previous videos um, I'm a uh, Tekken 7 player I ended up grabbing a Tekken 7 Storm Collectible. I'm not gonna open this. I'm just gonna leave it like this for my collection. I already have two, which is uh, the Heihachi and the uh, King. But yeah, let's go. And on top of that, to cleanse our palette, I'll be opening five Evolving Skies. Hopefully we'll fool something good, but let's check what our haul for today's video. All right, you guys, so I did bought a uh, three cards from that first booth. It was like a dollar and yeah, Misty's Determination. I've been trying to collect all these type of cards. There is apparently a, a lot of uh, Misty's Determination each um, set of uh, a Pokemon. They have like XY different Misty's Determination. Same thing with Diamond, Black, Diamond and uh, Pearl, Black and White. X and Y, all that crap, so, and I needed one of these, so I just have to buy Evolution Incense for my, uh, Lugia V deck, and now, okay, we got, for the, uh, the most expensive card that I bought is this, uh, Japanese Kingdra, it's $30, there's a sick holo, it's like a two holo pattern in there, but it's, on a uh, probably eight or nine condition. Yeah, there's like a little bit of um, scratches in the back. And that, um, I don't know what you call that, a bent or a crease. But in the front though, it's perfect in the front. They're probably just like people looking at it and just like literally pull this card with force. But I'm expecting this to be like, between seven to nine, you know, depending on who's, uh, depending on a what day it is. But yeah, that's like uh, probably an eight on a good day. And I paid thirty dollars for these. And oh, for that. but yeah, um, please let me know, guys, um, if I win or did I loss on these uh, haul. $30 for that, and then uh, Dark Arbok, it's like 10 bucks. Um, the condition for these is perfect. This literally came from like a pack, and then straight out of the uh, penny sleeve. I don't see no problem with it here. This is probably going to be an either, there's like white stuff in there. Either in uh, eight or nine, worth a day it's seven. I paid ten bucks for these dark art ball, good condition. And then twenty bucks for these kabo tops. I don't know. Um, I just like this card for some reason. It looks cool. I don't know where this came from. It is a um, 2006 kabo tops. It got. It has a couple of like scratches in there let's see but this is a sick kaboo top still back mm, yeah there's like tons of whitings in there in the back one eternity later all right somebody called me so i had to pause the video a little bit now this hitmonchan um there was two of these i felt like the other one was 2000 year 2000 this was like 99.99 i have a feeling that uh it's it was an l for these because the quality the quality is really bad for these i don't know but i felt like this is not 
for fifteen dollars. And the other one, the hollow pattern for the the other one was clearly different though. Compared to this, I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look like it's fifteen dollars. I probably have to move this, change the sleeve for these. And then ten dollars GameStop Flapple. I thought this was like um was put on a uh, pen sleeve, but apparently it's not. It's still sealed. And then on the back of it, it says uh, in promo card Flapel for play. It's a sick card though. GameStop um promo. Sick, ten bucks. That's free. I don't know how do I have to spend ten bucks for that. Need a king, fifteen bucks. There's already a damage in there. Ooh, it's a thick card. Okay. No scratch except that one. Oh, there is. That scratch on the side plus this. I don't know, probably like six or seven for these. But the edge, the corner though is. Oh, no, never mind. I should have uh, examined these before buying it, but there was like a lot of people on uh, in my back. So I was kind of like in a hurry choosing these cards. And uh, yeah, Jirachi X EX. This is a, uh, if this like, this is what I noticed because I've been browsing a lot of Facebook Marketplace stuff's cards. If these cards was like, has a, a silver border like that, the back is different. And if you see that uh, signature, Road Championship uh, 2015. This is this card is on a good condition. Probably good candidate for ten, maybe nine on a good day, or a not ten on a good day, ten, nine if uh, being bad. I don't know. Are these the type of cards that they gave out though? Every time you go to a uh, Pokemon regionals, this is like a dollar from that first uh, booth. I don't know. I just like Jirachi and Jirachi is good here so why not and then the last toy CX the same thing that's 15 bucks still please let me know if uh, it was an L for me for uh, paying I, I think I paid like $240 for all these cards $240 yeah tax included um, amazing rare restroom I really don't need these but you know like, why not I was looking for Evolta I can find it and then sell a be amazing rare five bucks I think they're all they are all in good condition too yeah this isn't Mint near mint condition. I feel like these sleeves damages the card because it's math. Math. Keldeo EX. Sick card. And then Articuno. Is this 2015 also? It, it is 2015. Five bucks. It would be sick if these are hollows. Chilling Sigh. And another one. Kel Shaman EX. Is this 2015 also? Yes, this is 2015. I felt like all these cards are on a binder and then they all bought it and started selling it individually. Five dollars. Elective RFB level 50. I don't know what that means. Is this in a good condition? It is. Elective RFB. I don't know what is this card, but this is the first time I see this. Probably a 9 or 8. There's like white thing in there. But no scratches on the holo though. This could be a good candidate for 9 or 10. But we'll see. 
um, they said Holo Zapdos. It was, I paid 20 for these. As you guys can see, the, the condition of these card is really bad and it's kind of like bent too. See that? It was bent. It was bent too. But hey, it's a Zapdos, so probably not gonna earn it. I'll probably lost money here because the card condition is bad. Cleave Fable is the next one. This one's a perfect condition. This Cliff Fable is on perfect condition. No scratches. Oh, no, never mind. I saw a scratch already. Was that a scratch? No, that's not a scratch. No scratch. Oh, no, what is that? There's like a line in there. Ooh. 15, probably this is like a 9 or 8. It's a good condition though. Jungle. No, this is not. I said Clefable base set. It's a jungle. Sorry guys, I'm still new at these type of cards. And um, the Japanese Magneton. I don't know. I think this is for a Neo. Neo Rev or what do you, whatever you call it. I, I googled it earlier. It was like from Neo Rev. I think it was an L for me for these one. Is it fossil? Fossil. But I believe in Japanese, it's Neo Rev. That's what they call it. Holo Magneton. This is a good card. Probably a. Uh, oh no, never mind. There's a thing. And there's only problem for this card, a thing. And uh, I think this is a win for me. Twenty-five bucks. I mean, the condition of this card is bad, but um, as you guys can see, there's like a little bit of a scratch. That's definitely a scratch. I already checked it earlier. But I think the PSA uh, seven for these or eight are still expensive. Um, rockets, Magneton, Holo. Uh, that thing is filled with scratch. But that's it. Though. The back. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that's probably like a six or seven. And uh, on top of that, we'll be opening five Evolving Skies sleeve packs. Cause why not? Like, right? All right. Let's let's pull that um, Moonbrion. Maybe today's the time. Code card, here we go. All right, you, probably, you guys probably need that. This is bent. All right, psychic energy, copycat, rapid strike, scroll of the flying dragon. Sounded like uh, Yu Gi Oh! Pikachu, tentacle, fletchling. Hitman Chan, Slack It Reverse. Is it a V card? It is a V card. Glaceon V. Let me grab my um, pen sleeve. Give me a black code card. Nice. One, two, three, four. This is thick. Hopefully it's something. Steel energy ribbon, metal energy rather. Avlug switching cups. I need this switching cups. Sea dot love disc. Bacon pumpkaboo tentacle. Milotic reverse and another Trevenant V. A lot of V card. Okay, now it's starting. There's Poe doesn't have anything here, right? So let's just rush it. That's the rare. Rescue man. Another white code card. Okay, it's two for two. That's the rare. Dream ball. It's 
stormy mountain. Oh no, it's one of those. Uh... All right, this is gonna be trash. Moon and Sun badge. Tomokazu Drampa. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys and please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below. I wasted another 5 packs from Evolving Skies but yeah. Peace out, see you on the next video. I wasn't meant to create this video but for today's but you know it is what it is. Peace out.